I wanted to document my experience repairing this vintage lava lamp. It's an older lava lamp, maybe at least 20, maybe 40 years old. When I got it, the wax was separated. There was some at the top, some at the bottom. Um, I tried shaking it, which only made it worse and made the water cloudy. So I let it settle. I drained the uh, liquid out of it, and I went with the Epsom salt mixture. It had about a liter in it, and I started out with probably a tablespoon of Epsom salt dissolved in that liter, and I poured it in, leaving a gap at the top. I added my probably two to three drops of liquid soap. I didn't use a clear liquid soap. I just used what I had. Um, wasn't real concerned about a little bit of coloring. And then I mixed up in a cup as much Epsom salt as I could dissolve in that cup. Uh, I didn't heat it or anything, but I did mix as much as I could. And then all I proceeded to do is let it heat up. And you can see what it's doing, but I let it heat up and I continued adding with a straw Epsom salt. I would, I would drip the salt in. I've got this at four times speed, but I would drip my mixture in and just see what it would do. And it actually took quite a while for it to start moving. Uh, but I would put a, uh, you know, a straw full in and let it sit there. And I did that until it got to be moving. And then I shut it down and I came back the next day and turned it on to see how it worked. And this actually is probably the next day. And I was getting these streams and these boogers and it just wasn't changing a whole lot. So I wanted to actually add the stuff faster. And you can see I poured it in. Um, having the red lava wax, you want it to be moving around within it because if not, it blocks the light out pretty good at the bottom if you only have a little bit of movement. So you want a lot of movement. And this actually probably would be acceptable, but I cycled it through a few times because I wanted to see it off and on. Now the room temperature was probably 68 degrees. It was a little colder. Not sure how this will react in a warmer temperature. I'm probably gonna dump it out and start over again. Um, my water's getting a little cloudy. So, and I think that's just because it churned up the wax and got some of the debris out of the wax. So I think I'll restart. I've got plenty of Epsom salt that I bought. So I'll start it over again and then uh, maybe I'll document what happens. But like I say, this is multiple times sh showing uh, the result you can get. Whatever the case though, for the cost of Epsom salt and some water, it does revive the lamp. My wife wanted to throw it away because it was so ugly. And I, I said, hey, we can fix this. And, so uh, love to have any comments, any suggestions at the bottom. And when I do <coughs> add the new uh, mixture, uh, yeah, you can see there it's a little cloudy. When I do add the new mixture, see, as it went on, it started to get this, this <coughs> I'll call it a turd shape, but uh, it's something to watch. It, it certainly is uh, entertaining, but... Uh, when I do dump it out and I start over again with a new mixture, I may uh, video that as well and um, see how that goes. But uh, thanks for watching. Leave some comments and subscribe.